Dit is uh, Alexander, beter bekend als Muramassa. En als je denkt, oeh, dat uh, gaat wel een belletje rinkelen. Deze plaat heb je ongetwijfeld een keertje voorbij horen komen op 3FM. Nou, die gaat hij hier zo meteen live doen in de studio. Muramassa, welcome and good evening. Hey, good hey. to be here. Uh, first of all, you're, you live in the UK. Um, well, um, how, how have you been following the, the, the Brexit uh, that happened uh, yesterday? Um, I'm very angry. Yeah. And uh, I, had, I think I had too much faith in, in the British people yeah. that we wouldn't do something so stupid. But um, now the world thinks we're idiots and... Um, Yeah, we got to deal with that. Well, now. Just, just half of you are idiots. No, exactly. But, but you've also seen the numbers that like uh, the much older people have voted uh, against uh, for, uh, for the Brexit, and, mm. and the much of young people like you. Uh, how, how you look uh, uh, at it? There's well, it's a democracy at the end of the day, so that's how yeah. it goes. The vote the vote stands, but um, yeah, the people who will be affected in the long term most by it are you know the 16 and 17 year olds who can't vote you know yet. Yeah, so that's really annoying, but that's how it goes. Well, uh, let's talk uh, music. Your Muriel Massa. We, we have met, met you uh, uh, back in Groningen at the Eurosonic Noorderslag Festival, big showcase festival where, where we get to meet new music every year. Uh, what happened since January? Because then you, you got to present yourself for the whole of Europe, and well, now you're there. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of festivals since then. Um, it's been a lot of shows. I've been finishing up my album, so. Yeah, it's been a lot of good things. For the people who have never seen your uh, live performance, uh, what does the stage look like? What what did you do you bring? Um, I bring first and foremost my friend Bonsai, who does vocals for me, who sat next to me in the studio right yeah. now. Um, and then I've got like some drums and some keyboards and my laptop and a few a few other bits. So it's kind of so. like a one man band type thing. <laughs> yeah, because you you are a multi-instrumentalist. You you play like bass and guitar and everything, right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I read you even uh, uh, put together some punk bands and stuff and, and like, yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. I'm really into that, so like, like oh, that's cool. But Back how, how come then then you get, you get to stick with the, the electronic music? It's all music, man. There's not, yeah. there's not that much difference. Um, that's just the way it went, I guess. I still listen to a lot of punk music. So yeah, that's good. It's all good. So, but, but the, 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 um, the, the music you make now is like electronic, but maybe, well, in a, in a couple of years you bring up uh, electric guitar in and yeah, yeah. everything's possible. There's a lot of guitar on the album, actually. Oh, okay, so yeah. That's, that's coming into it. But yeah, but, I, I don't think you should divide it into you know genres or whatever it's all music <laughs> well that that's really a thing uh that that's happened right now in music like like there are, there are no genres anymore and people listen to like everything they, they can get their hands on in on spotify yeah. or youtube so that's like really cool sure. um you're really on an ele- electronic act but here in the studio uh well there, there's there's not much you you've brought <laughs> so uh, i'm really curious uh how, how are you gonna play your song here um well i've brought my my lovely guitar called ramona i called it ramona yeah, yeah. um And I brought my my good friend Bonsai, who sings "What If I Go" um, on the record, and she's going to help me do it today. I hope. <laughs> I hope so too. Yeah. I, I, I'll think so. Uh, first of all, uh, there there is a ball of uh, of, of balls. Uh, I, I want you to grab balls. one, and um, well, there's a question written uh, on top of it. Okay. And, and it's uh, well, maybe a famous guy, maybe uh, not a famous band at all, but uh, the questions are Let's most most fun. They're a little bit hard to open. I'm holding the ball. I'm opening it. This is really interesting. I've never seen this done before. <laughs> okay. Question by Ben from Band of Horses. Oh, wow. Is the moon overrated? Is the moon overrated? Ah. You know what? I think the moon's really underrated. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think people really realize how important it is to the tidal, tidal flow and... Um, Yeah, we've been there a couple of times, but we don't know. We don't know anything <laughs> about it yet. So oh, good to know. The moon is underrated. Underrated. 